the date being the 5th day of July, 2019. I have been definitely quiet, listen to all the rhetoric, but I started over a year ago with Bahama Fast Ferry. We have some people in Marshall that had the same type of integrity and looking for government that supposedly would do better than the PLP. But to date, I have not known of any PLP minister that have done what Mr. Simonet has done within a year. With the fast ferry, he came into Abaco and sent 18 people home and secured a $25 million contract. Everybody stayed definitely quiet, but I didn't. I give you a play-by-play, -play, and it started right here in Abaco. And some people that voted there for them are still angry because they know it's collusion, they know it's wrong. The opposition stood quiet while the Prime Minister happened to be the third largest shareholder in Bahama Fast Ferry. And we get one next Prime Minister that has Boogaloo hole in his shares in Bahama Fast Ferry, so they ain't saying nothing. It seems like their family and only their family could take millions. This is the only country that they ask, what can the country do for me? I ain't care hell about the country. The country is supposed to make me richer. And a certain set of names keep coming up. Bahamas, the world, the worst type of government is the government that is self-dealing. That is what Brennan is doing. He's self-dealing. The ministers there, they are self-dealing, giving them self-contract. That is a danger to democracy. I'll take you way back. Anybody remember the uh, commission of inquiry they had against Pinlin regime? And this Chinese doctor got on the stand and boy did he open up a can of worm. He said that, and he called the members of parliament that were running cocaine in their MP car. You know back then nobody gonna stop the MPs. And when the Chinese doctor, I don't know how he got this information, but he had the information. They abruptly called the commissioner, commission to a halt to have a lunch break. And that Chinese, I don't know Nasa too well, but I knew of where he got killed. He was driving right where the DEA helicopter comes, coming from Abaco, I don't know Nassau, the streets that well. Right across where you go and get your police record in Nassau, the DEA helicopter, DUU helicopter would land right across there. And you go up a hill there, there's a restaurant up there, used to call the same old place. And that Chinese doctor got killed immediately because they didn't want him to come back with the rest of that damning information. And when I could hear Mr. Simonet got on radio and television and say about all the businesses that he has abroad, one have to ask, does he pay taxes? Does he pay VAT on all those businesses? Even the prime minister. Say he also have a lot of businesses outside this country. Does the Prime Minister and Brent in bed with all these businesses? Did they get permission um, from the uh, central bank to approve these businesses? Because the money came from out the Bahamas. Did central bank approve these businesses? And are they paying taxes? on these businesses. You know what is staggering and unbelievable? Everybody knows that in London that they're selling oil on the market from the Bahamas. BPC, Bahamas Petroleum Company. 
and everybody can buy shares of an oil company in the Bahamas, but Bahamians are not allowed to do so. The question is, is the Prime Minister and Brent Simonet, through their self-dealing of pumping money to this oil deal through their companies abroad and thus the Bahamas Central Bank know about these self-dealing interests. How could a company selling stocks in London and New York on oil drilling in the Bahamas and Bahamians cannot bid or buy shares. Well, that's, that is deadly dangerous. That needs the biggest investigation that this country have ever had. That is called self-dealing. These guys are giving themselves contract, selling this country out, and the small man don't know anything about what's going on. Who can we trust? The opposition is quiet, quiet, quiet. And I'm telling you, self-dealing in any country is the worst type of corruption that they could ever be. And that is happening in the second term of this FNM administration. And buddy, if you dig deep, you'll be surprised to know what else is being undermined. They said, that's when you're so smart. Remind me, Frankie Campbell said he came here. He was never behaving, but somebody signed for him to say that he daddy is he daddy. That is corruption, and everybody let that go. Every time Frankie Campbell would open his mouth notes assembly, I'd say, buddy, you're a Haitian. I don't want to hear nothing from you and I'll walk out because he too ought not be in our house of assembly. But everybody keep passing the bucks. Anybody that believes the story that Brent Simnett gave is just as fool as him. That story doesn't add up. What needs to add up is how much money that he has secretly signed the way. We, we, we just know we're not even at the beginning of the iceberg. We're just touching the surface because he allowed us to touch it. But what about the other stuff, all the other businesses that he signed on to while being the minister responsible for investment? How many other self-dealing has Mr. Simonet done in his short two years of being the minister responsible for investment. And this guy is the smoothest player you ever heard of. His salary was about $100,000 a year. Why take the head headache when the Bakers Bay alone, $25 million Kai with a smile so happily and go off into the sunset. A matter of fact, I would have signed completely but he's not going to resign because he's there to protect his interests. If he's not around the table, nobody's going to protect his interests. So he's not going to resign. He got a lot of investment in this government and he's going to make sure that his investment continues. That is why he won't resign. But where do we go from here? Is that just the end of it? Somebody ought to be held accountable. And it starts with the prime minister of the country. Neither one of them has come clean to the Bahamian people. What ever happened to that big freedom of information legislation that they were going to sign into law immediately? Because the FNM government felt that too much corruption was happening without the Bahamian people knowing. 
boy, were they right. But are they gonna put that type of legislation in Iraq? The freedom of information. Nobody heard anything about that. In two years, all sort of things are being signed, but nothing to improve the quality of life for the small man. Everybody has forgotten the small man. To date, in my beautiful town of Mashaba, Baker's Bay is still carrying the people with no permission, no paperwork, no license to carry guests. And boy, are they carrying guests. I only dream about doing 30 trips a day. If I do four, I say, thank you, Jesus. The boats are smoking of the traffic that they're carrying back and forth at $175 a person to Baker's Bay. To date, Renville Wells came over from the PLP to make a difference in the FNM. So far, he has been useless, waste the member parliament license plate. When the citizens of Mashaba would fly to Nassau to give him the information, the minister responsible for transportation going to say, uh, let Baker's Bay continue until we could figure out how to stop them from stealing our taxes and being corrupt in Abaco. So far, he has been a waste of the people's time. I'm just warming up. I'm back with information, information, information. The story about Brent started over a year ago, you guys are slow. You're catching up. But he's long gone, and the millions is in his back and front pocket. You're live in Abaco on WCAY.